Hey, YouTube. This is Daryl Leary. Anyways, uh, I had been thinking about my family's ancestry and uh, how to uh, preserve as much of it as uh, possible. Now, I'm not a I'm not a biologist, and uh, certainly don't have a a degree in biology. So uh, when I read through a lot of articles, you know, it's, uh, I get lost with uh, the terminology is my biggest problem to understanding most articles but I have been doing some research and I found out that as far as 2001 uh, scientists have pretty much removed nearly all the doubts that tree sap can indeed um, preserve DNA as, as well as RNA in terms of trapped insects and in, in tree sap and this type of thing. So uh, this all started with um, with me trying to uh, preserve a physical part of my family, uh, my family's uh, DNA, um, so it could be better recorded or better utilized in the future, and. And uh, because I don't have any, uh, you know, elaborate equipment or anything, you mean, like I basically have the same stuff you have at home, I came up with a concept. I thought I would turn to nature because I, I reckon that whatever man's trying to do, if nature's doing it, nature's doing it a thousand times better with better results. So I came up with this idea, so I'm actually going to try it today, but I believe... I have found a, a credible do-it-yourself, preserve your own DNA for thousands of years to come. And it's so simple, it's almost ridiculous. All you need to do is um, collect some tree sap, believe it or not, uh, boil it down, uh, try to get the cleanest uh, tree sap that you can, and then while the tree, tree sap is still um, in its um, coalescing phase, you know, it's, um, that, that solidifying phase, you know, just before it begins to harden, start plucking as many of your, um, your hairs and immerse them into the tree sap, after which... Um, you let the tree sap harden, and uh, that's it. And uh, the interesting thing about uh, tree sap is that uh, tree sap contains a lot of essential sugars and minerals that are um, critical in some way. I don't quite understand how to preserving um, cell structures and uh, and and DNA and RNA and this type of thing but it also contains antioxidants and it also contains antibacterials now you shouldn't eat tree sap because um, uh, lots of uh, tree saps can be used to uh, create paint thinners but n nature has seemed to find a, a perfect medium for preservation and uh, more and more scientists are, are looking into what's trapped in the tree sap and uh, even soft tissues as much as one percent of perfectly preserved soft tissue has been found in tree sap from species have gone extinct like 10,000 years ago even a hundred thousand years so this is a way you could uh, do it yourself and uh, you don't have to trust me you can just trust nature nature will will do it for you um, and of course uh, tree sap also sol sol solidifies you know blocking out any oxygen that's uh, within the surrounding environment and you know 
closing off the uh, organic material inside. So it might just be that nature has, now I'm just hypothesizing this, a mechanism to return old DNA back into the environment. So maybe when something goes extinct and some of its DNA gets trapped in tree sap, then um, it's feasible that uh, on a super hot day, some of that tree sap or near a volcanic area, that tree sap begins to melt. And, uh, and there you go, some of that uh, old material gets re-exposed somehow into the ecosystem. <coughs> So, um, but you have to remember that the hairs must be plucked, okay, so it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work if you were simply to give yourself a haircut and save some of that hair and try to uh, immerse it into some he heated tree sap. The reason why is because is the root at the hair actually con contains the cells responsible for growing the hair. Hair itself is dead and contains no DNA. I believe it c contains mitochondrial DNA, but I can't be totally sure. I'm still learning this stuff. And on top of that, plucked hairs also contain millions of uh, skin cells that are attached to that. So there it is, people. I do it yourself. Preserve your own DNA for thousands of years to come. Um, on another note, if your plants are dying, coconut milk, well, cytokinins might be your answer with a little touch of auxins. Auxins are plant hormones. Should There should be auxins present in miracle Grow, I reckon. And coconut milk contains cytokinins. Uh, cytokinins are are chemicals that are largely responsible for the rapid cell division of plant cells. And and amazingly enough, coconut milk or cytokinins extracted from coconut milk have been the primary reason for most of the success of scientists being able to grow cultures of plants within petri dishes. So if your plants are dying, this coconut milk, a little touch of miracle grow, and you just might be surprised if anything else hasn't worked. I'm Daryl Leary, and uh, oh, on another on another note, um, if you don't have, if you want to say, preserve a part of your your family, but you know they've been long past, and you know uh, you're back visiting in the old house. Because 80 percent, you know, 80 to 85 percent of house dust is actually skin. One could conceivably, you know, if you went into Grandma's old house, you know, old Grandma that passed away, and there's a dusty area there, you could conceivably grab a bunch of that dust and melt it into some amber or tree sap and probably have an extremely good chance that some of old grandma's DNA will be solidified and preserved for thousands of years to come. So, food for thought.